All right, this is a quick review of the eBags Weekender backpack. Um, I'm kind of short, so I got the smaller size, but honestly, it's really only about two inches shorter lengthwise. Other than that, all the specs are exactly the same. I read online that if you're, you know, about my size, I'm 5'4", that the slightly shorter one's a little easier to carry around on your back, so I went there. Um, everything else was the same, and it was more than enough space. Um, I just got back from being on tour for like eight days, I think it was. With I was off with a band, and we're in a van, and there's not a lot of room, so I was looking for a backpack that would hold a whole bunch of stuff, but also have a really small footprint in the van, and this thing worked out fantastically. There's only one bad news kind of thing about it, and that is that it is kind of heavy when you have everything in it, and it actually starts off at about, I think it's three pounds, but you can look at the website. Um, I got it off Amazon, by the way for under $100 um, to see the exact specs on it. So it, it, it is a little heavy just from the get-go, but if you pack it smartly, like you distribute the weight, heavier things towards the bottom and stuff, you'll survive, everything will be fine. Um, the first night we were in DC and we had to park kind of far away from where we were going and I put this thing on my back and I don't know how, I don't know how much it weighed. It might have been 30 pounds, it might have been a little more than that, I have no idea. But I had to go straight uphill, like straight uphill San Francisco style for about five blocks. And I'm still here. I live to tell the story. Everything's fine. So just keep in mind that if you have everything in the world in here, plus a laptop, and my laptop isn't like a MacBook Air or anything. It's like a full-on laptop, so it's kind of heavy to start off with, too. That you're going to have some pounds to deal with. But other than that, this is a great bag, and I'm really happy with the purchase. There's a whole lot of good news to it. So, let me show you. Lots of pockets. That's the best news. This outside pocket here is super deep. You can carry all kinds of stuff in there and get to it quick. Um, this other pocket also is super duper deep. Like, I had a flannel. I don't know why it was obvious. But just in case, I had a flannel shirt in here and a whole bunch of other stuff. And you can really, it goes down deep, like pretty much the length of the bag. So you can fit all kinds of stuff in there. Plus, there's two pockets that zip. This one um, zips across and this one zips across. And it runs the full length of this. So you can put all kinds of stuff in there. Um, and it's easy to get to because it's right in the front of the bag. You don't have to go down and start digging in your bag to find things. You just have to unzip it and flip it over and you can get to all your stuff really easily. Um, this thing up here is pretty cool. Um, it's pretty much everybody's using it, I guess, for toiletries and stuff. I still have stuff in here. Ton again, tons of room to spare. I mean, I have my soap and, you know, my toothbrush and just everything you could think of for a week's worth of whatever could come my way. Plus, had again room to spare. It's, it's a really super deep pocket. So, let me zip this up. All right. So, the really cool thing about this backpack too is that it is in a top loader. So when we got to where we were going, I threw it on the ground and unzipped it, and it opens like a suitcase. And I had all kinds of things in here again for you know eight days or so. It was like tons of t-shirts, a couple pairs of pants stuff to sleep in, appropriate amount of undergarments, etc. Plus I had room for, um, along the way, dirty laundry when that started happening. Um, I uh, had room for souvenirs. I had room for all my chargers because I was also carrying a separate camera bag. But I had like my laptop charger, um, other chargers, extra batteries, just all kinds of electronics things in here. And still again had room to spare. This mesh opens up, and this is real flexible, so you can put a bunch in there. Um, this is where the clothes go, or whatever. Um, tons of room in there. And it also has, if you want to use it like this shelf divider thing, if you want to divide it into two different places. Also, these straps, when you pull them across, they compress everything down. So. Not only that, it also keeps it pretty wrinkle-free. I mean, considering we were throwing all of our stuff around as the tour wore on, I didn't have a major wrinkle problem. These things keep everything pretty much the way it was when you put it in there. So it's pretty awesome. Also, it's great that you can just unzip it and you don't have to like dig down inside it like if it was a top loader. 
like search and search and search and try and find what you're looking for. It's all right there. So, also, the other thing is this thing expands. There's a uh, another zipper that runs the length of this, runs right around here. And if you unzip it, it'll actually expand it by a couple inches, you know, two to three, something like that. If it needs to be like, if you need more depth to it. But I had, you know, like nine days, eight, nine, eight, nine days worth of clothes, personal items, a laptop, all my chargers, brought stuff back. Um, just a bunch of stuff in here. And I still had room and I never had to unzip that thing. So that's pretty cool. And here is where the laptop goes in the back. It unzips and just slides down there. But if you're not taking a laptop with you, this would also be a great place for, let's say, a jacket or some sweaters or whatever. It's super deep. It runs the entire length of the pack itself. So there's just a ton of room, a ton of pockets. Um, I had no problems with the bag. I'm super duper happy with it other than the weight situation. But I worked it out and, you know, it was fine. I mean, I wouldn't backpack through Europe with it or anything, like go for miles and miles and miles and miles of hiking with a laptop and everything else in there. I mean, you might get a little worn out, but for like you, let's say you park far away from where you're going or you're running between flights or whatever, it's fine. I mean, I was really comfortable, even with the weight on my back, the way it was distributed, it uh, worked out great. They also have another, um, another strap that you can hook up to it if you don't want to use it like a backpack and you can use it like a messenger bag. But I just did the backpack thing as it was super duper comfortable. Um, here is where that zipper right there is where the straps live. And you just pull them out. They don't have to stay out forever. You can put them, put them in. And they just hook down here. And they're fully adjustable. They're padded. Really comfortable. You know, I had no problems with them. Or if you don't want to use it and you just want to carry it like a suitcase, there's a grab handle there. There's a grab handle here. There's a grab handle here. So, and then you again have the um, messenger bag option with the other strap that you can just hook on. And uh, so you have lots of options and it doesn't have a large footprint. I like it. It's sturdy. It got banged around. Everything was fine. Laptop was fine. You know, the beginning of the tour, you know, everything's all nice and neat and, and cool. You know, like the beginning of any trip and then towards the end, you're just like, ah, just throw it in there. <laughs> you know, so everything was fine, including the laptop. And still, my clothes are pretty wrinkle-free, even on the last day. So that's it. Um, if you need an inexpensive, practical, sturdy backpack that you don't want to have to top load, and it's basically a suitcase, get this thing. I got it on Amazon. You can get it directly from their site, whatever. I'm happy. I'll be using it again.